How Felicia and I met uh, was in beginning band at Hillview. I've been liking her since middle school. I was saxophone third chair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do my thing, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I liked her like immediately. She was not catching the vibes <laughs> at all. Not feeling me. The tide is moving. I feel it under me. I feel it pull me to the deep. I'm like, my, you know what? My sister's birthday coming up. She having a sweet 16 party here. I was like, you want to come? And then she's like, yeah, I'll be there. So I get there and I knock on the door or whatever and Jerome comes to the door and he's like, hey, thanks for coming. I'm like, oh, yeah, where is everybody? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I love you. So pretty. And he's like, oh, no, I just invited you. And I was like, is this like a 12 year old date right now? Like, I got like. <laughs> She thought other people from Hillview was gonna be there. What I did was not invite nobody from Hillview. That's that one on one time. And then that's when I knew he liked me, like officially, because people would tell me that. But I was like, no, he's like my friend, because we're all friends. Like, I hear they're all hanging out. Right, and I wasn't really into like boys like that. What's happening? Junior high. That's when uh, we actually had to take the school bus together. You really got to stay in a pack in that one, you know. <laughs> Survival of the fittest on that thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then once, once we got to like high school age, you know, I, you know, I had a big decision. Like, do I keep being mean to my sister or, you know, do I play nice? You know, because I did need to ride to school. So, as you can tell, I'm not a big fan of walking, so I decided to play bestie with my sister, you know. <laughs> and then we really didn't get together until we went off to college. And he was at LMC. At the time, he had a girlfriend. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, I'm going to leave him alone, whatever. Things will be what things will be. I was on Instagram every day, like, they're going to break up. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> And then we fast forward, no hair follicles later. Yeah. <laughs> About six more inches, add a couple more pounds, some muscle, and we here. Yeah, it's toast to that. Absolutely. Toast to no hair, don't care. No hair. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Love y'all. So what time is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's time to get married. Look at me, I'm on target. Looking like a starlet. I'm feeling me if you're not keep balling. You in the pink and baller. Keep doing you, ain't nobody gonna stop you. Felicia. Jerome. With this ring. I pledge my love and life to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Every time my brother brings Felicia around, it's always a great time. I would be happy to call her my sister. Now my brother, I could talk about him all day. He's my best friend, mentor, and idol. Even though we are nine years apart, you wouldn't be able to tell because he acts my age. <laughs> I love your I don't give a f attitude. I love the fact that I'm gaining a new sister. We've always been a part of each other's biggest life events. You're always one call away. I was the first person Jerome told that he was going to marry my best friend. I love how I can peer pressure your down ass to do anything. I was just making it short and sweet because I can go on and on about Feli because we all know she's the best person ever.
not only have I seen her at her worst, but you make the best of her. And I appreciate that. And I know we all do. But thank you so much for letting me stand next to you every day and especially on your best day. I love you so much. <laughs>